My hair needs a trim, so I'm going to use some hair scissors with a sharp blade, some confidence, and I'm going to be flitting between my wide tooth comb and my medium tooth comb. So I'm splitting my hair into four sections. My hair is already really stretched out from an old Bantu knot out, but of course you can wash, condition and blow dry, or use some rollers, anything that's gonna get your hair, if it's particularly tightly coiled, nice and stretched. That way you can get a nice look at where your hair needs a cut. With the back section, I'm going to comb through it gently, just releasing any tangles and shed hair just to make sure it's nice and smooth. So I'm doing that with my wide tooth comb. I personally know when my hair needs trimming, if it's got a lot of knots at the very end, and my typical knots will be like balloon knots, or if I look very closely at the coils and they're split, the ends often become very jagged, so I can see exactly where needs to cut and where I can just about get away with cutting. So I'm breaking it down that little bit further into smaller sections and then I'm using my medium tooth comb just to make sure I've got all the tangles and shed hair. So yeah, we can see just how long it is to begin with. So I'm going to hold the hair as taut as I can between my two fingers and use those sharp scissors and just cut straight across right at the end. I am personally eyeballing it. Of course, go to a professional if you want like a super smooth cut. So you can see now this is how much I've cut off. It didn't seem like much, but that's because the ends were so see-through and jagged, it really did need a good cut. There wasn't much hanging on there. <laughs> and of course, when I'm done, I just twist that section up to keep it out of the way. So I do the same thing again. You can see that section is a bit longer. And again, just looking at the ends there, very see-through and jagged. I'm combing through with my medium toothed comb just to make sure I've got out all the shed hair so none of that gets balled up in there and I can get a nice even cut. Hold the hair tautly between my fingers and do a straight across trim. And then twist it up to keep it out of the way. Looking at the hair, I look for where the shortest piece of hair is on the kind of jagged ends, and I cut just above that. So that's usually my guide. So you may want to go ahead and set a solid routine, like every two to three months, that's when you trim. For me, I don't have a set time. I just keep an eye on my hair health, feeling through the strands, having a look at the ends. And when I'm not trimming my hair, I do the search and destroy method. You can already see pulling apart is easy as pie. Nothing's getting caught or tangled and it just feels nice and smooth between my fingers. So despite me eyeballing it, I did quite a good job. It's quite even um, and that suits me quite fine. I just do what feels comfortable for me. As you can see, this is how much hair I lost, so not too much, and now my hair feels a lot smoother and healthier. So now that you're done here, you can head over to my lifestyle channel and check out my jewellery collection. Otherwise, check out previous videos on this channel. Subscribe if you're new. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you on the next video. Bye!